Well, one of the lawmakers in that immigration meeting last week was South Florida Congressman Mario Diaz Ballard, and today we're hearing from him about the controversy and the mission to preserve DACA. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez is live in Miami with what he is saying now about this. Maribel. Well, Elliot, the congressman says he has never leaked information. He is not about to do so now. He says he does not want to lose his focus on what that meeting was about. He says the future of close to a million young people depend on him. The American people have the right to know a lot of things and everything. But let's just get something straight. Congressman Mario Diaz Ballard being straightforward about the controversial comments made by President Trump. The veteran politician who was in that meeting saying he has not and will never say what is said behind closed doors. I've been in public service for about three decades now. And when I meet with a constituent, or if I meet with an ambassador, or if I meet with a head of state, and we close the door in the meeting, there is the obvious expectation that what is said in those meetings are not going to be said in public. Before walking into a congressional hearing at Miami-Dade College about the dangers of normalizing relations with Cuba, the congressman wanted to make one thing clear. Others can comment about what is said in different public meetings. I will stay focused on the fact that in March, about 800,000 young individuals face imminent deportation if we do not reach a deal. Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton in respecting her counterpart's decision. Mario is, is, a, is a very true to his word kind of legislator. I know the media wants everyone to react. People have different ways of how they react. I do react differently, he reacts differently, but one thing for sure, he's at the negotiation table. The DACA agreement is what the congressman says he is concerned about, and that is his final word. I will not lose focus into, in getting in this pointing fingers one way or another. And again, that agreement must be reached by March. The congressman saying he will continue working extremely hard to come to a decision. We're live in Miami. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.